This program is rated PG. The following program deals with mature subject matter and contains scenes with sexuality. Viewer discretion is advised. What's all this for? I'm making lunch for the kids. They have a half day today and the cafeteria is closed because of the fire. Hmm. You know, I still don't understand how that fire could have started. Why is fire played such a terrible part in my life? In the life of the ones I love? I mean, you know, 20 years ago I almost died in a fire. And my twin sister dies in a fire. Her house burned down and Charity barely survived. And Charity's tied at a stake for a Thanksgiving pageant. And instead of a fake fire, there's a real fire. But nobody can figure out how it started. Yeah, there does seem to be a pattern. I wonder if our next door neighbor, Tabitha, knows anything about it. I gave it my best shot, Timmy. It was such a perfect setup. Charity was tied to the stake. I had her right where I wanted her, and everyone would have thought it was an accident. That boy McGill really messed things up when he saved Charity. Oh, well, it doesn't matter now. I failed, and Charity won. I'm afraid our days here in Harmony are numbered, Timmy. Don't give up, Tabby. As long as Charity doesn't remember you were the one that started the fire that killed her mother, you can live to fight another day. Oh. oh, I'm so sorry, Miguel. It's okay, Charity. Charity, are you all right? I'm so sorry. It's... It's just a shirt. Remember when we met, Miguel? You do? Yeah. I spilled my drinks on you, and you were so nice about it that I knew we would be good friends. Charity, that's fantastic. <laughs> it's great. That means you're getting your memory back, right? I guess so. But I still don't remember anything that happened before that. But if I keep having these flashes, I'm sure I'm going to start to remember everything. Charity, what is it? Um, the pilgrim in that picture. I wouldn't blame Gwen for wanting to fight to get Ethan back. I just don't think she's the type. Your mother says she's tougher than she seems, Teresa. Mama is only saying that to scare me. But if it were me, and I were facing losing Ethan, I would fight to the death to keep him. But Gwen wouldn't. She's too much of a lady, too soft. Could that be Ethan? Maybe he already realized it's me he should be with. <laughs> Gwen. We need to talk, Teresa. What do you want to talk about? Why are you here? I think you know exactly why I'm here, Teresa.
yourself the one who could sing so sweet And I would fly on the wings of the bird I knew could take me high as breathe in, breathe out You keep me alive You are the fire burning inside of me You are my passion for life Cherry, what about the pogo? I don't know. It reminds me of something, but I don't know what. It probably reminds you of almost being burned alive during the rehearsal. Well, maybe. But there's something else. I remember I saw a painting of a pilgrim in Tabitha's house, and I had the same feeling. It was like there was something deep in my memory, but I don't know what it is. This is a definite sign that your memory's coming back, Charity. Jessica, you shouldn't push it. I mean, she's still weak from her terrible ordeal. Charity, don't worry about the past right now, you know? Just live in the present. Kay's right. I, and I told your Aunt Grace I'd look after you and make sure you didn't overdo it. Yeah, we all just want to make sure you're all right. Come on, Charity. I'll take you home. OK. But there's something I want to do first, something really important. What? Well, I have to make one stop on the way, and then I want to go to Tapitha's. No. My days of fighting charity are over. <laughs> the forces of darkness are no longer in the basement to help me, Timmy. The brat has won. I've lost my powers. And all because of her, that damn angel. It's not hopeless. So the angel said so. Big deal. <clears throat> Where's your fighting spirit? Gone. Hipped away from me by that abominable child. What more can I do? Jimmy doesn't know. But you've made things come out of the hat before. You yeah. can make Jimmy come to life. You can do anything. No, no, Timmy. I've met my match with charity and this, this little girl. I'm through. I'm all washed up. Tell the... You wait right here. Timmy will prove you're not washed up. This is my friend Whitney. Yes, I remember. You covered for Teresa when she was stalking Ethan. Um, no, I, I really, I didn't stalk him, Gwen. Um, those things were all just accidents. Yes, I heard. Must be nice to have a best friend that you can share all your secrets with. All your plans, your crushes, all your schemes. Isn't that right, Teresa? Teresa, I'm going to work. If I... Gwen, I didn't expect to see you here. Hi, Pilar. I just came by to have a chat with your daughter. I see. Is there anything I can do before I leave? No, no, thank you. You go. I wouldn't want you to be late for work. Go ahead, Mama. It's OK. I'll see you later. Bye. Well, um, I just remembered I have to uh, work on my tennis schedule. <laughs> you mind if I use your room, Teresa? Oh, sure. Be careful. You're in for a fight. Oh, I'm going to take the phone so I can all my students. <laughs> um, you want to sit down? No, well, uh, what I have to say won't take long.
some coffee? No, thanks. I didn't come here for coffee. I, I came for some answers. Well, I can't give you any answers if I don't know the questions, so um, what did you want to ask me? You're aware that Ethan's quite a catch, aren't you? Yeah, I guess so. You guess so? <laughs> you know that he's handsome and incredibly rich, don't you? Yeah, of, of course. Okay, good. Now for the tough question, Teresa. I mean, come on, let's be honest with each other. You would just love to get Ethan, wouldn't you? Gwen hasn't called, has she? No, I haven't spoken to her. I've been trying to reach her to explain what happened. I hope she's not still upset about finding Teresa at the cabin with you. I just wish I hadn't lied about Teresa being there when she called the first time. And I just thought she'd be upset. Personally, I think you did the right thing. Oh, now I know I really screwed up. I'm going over to Gwen's office. Maybe her secretary knows where she's gone. What an idiotic thing to do, Julian. Sending Teresa up to the cabin. I had no idea Ethan had planned a romantic rendezvous with... with Gwen. I needed these contracts signed. You could have waited. And now Gwen's upset. It's not my fault Gwen is so sensitive about Teresa that she jumps to conclusions. You know, Alistair wants a marriage between Gwen and Ethan as much as I do. And if you've screwed this up, he will not be pleased. In fact, it wouldn't surprise me if he decided to skip a generation and put Ethan in charge of Crane Industries when he dies. No, Ethan, don't talk nonsense. He'll have his turn after me. I don't think it's nonsense. I think it's a fabulous idea. Perhaps I should let Alistair know what an incompetent his son is, as if he doesn't already. Mmm, how delicious. You without power. To watch you grovel and beg for anything that Ethan and I will allow you to have. Perhaps we'll let you manage the cannery. You even think about talking to my father. I'll make sure your precious Ethan knows all your shady secrets, darling. You do have secrets, secrets that you don't want your son to hear about. Sam, you still can't think Tabitha knows anything about the fire at the school. I'm not accusing her of anything. I just want to know maybe if she had seen something. So you think somebody deliberately set the fire? Look. No. There's no proof. I mean, it could have been an accident, you know, but the, the, when I examined the fake torch, the one Kay was going to use the light to fire with, I saw an exposed piece of metal. I mean, it could have hit a nail on the floorboard and caused a spark. And that spark could have set the hay on fire around Charity. Possibly. I mean, the hay and the wood that was used around the stake should have been treated with fire retardant, but they weren't. Well, Mrs. Crump usually does that, but she was sick, so maybe she just forgot to tell somebody to do it. Maybe. And then there's the matter of the fire extinguishers. I mean, none of them worked. So you don't think the fire was an accident? Look, I know it's hard to believe, but maybe it could explain how it happened. But it doesn't explain why anybody would want to hurt Charity. And everybody at the rehearsal was a friend, including Tabitha. Ah. What are you doing with my bag, Timmy? Timmy is going to remind the princess that she's not all washed up. That she can still get rid of charity. Now, Timmy, the terrific, will produce a dove out of this hat. Now turn this vase into a frog. Pokey pokey, work okey dokey. <laughs> oh, you are hopeless. Give me that. <laughs> oh, 
Okay. Wow. How did you do that? Oh, it's all in the wrist, Tim Tim. <laughs> Not everyone has the talent, but I do. <laughs> Jimmy Benson's princess still has a few tricks in her bag. You know, you're right. Thanks, Jimmy. You've made me realize that maybe I'm not completely washed up after all. <laughs> You're remembering more and more every day. I hope that I start to get all my memory back soon. I'm sure you will. Maybe I'll be able to recognize that horrible voice I heard the night my mother died in the fire. It's charity. You think that voice is the person who started the fire? I don't know. But I'm sure if I could remember hearing it, then I would know more about what happened. She's coming over the house. What is she doing here? Miguel, I need to talk to Tabitha alone. Are you sure? I mean, she's kind of weird. She takes her doll out for air. <laughs> I know. Uh, besides, you might see that pilgrim painting again, and it's just going to remind you of being tied at the stake in the auditorium. I can handle it. The important thing is, if I see the picture again, maybe it'll help me get more memories back from before the fire at my house. I don't know. I I'd hate to see you go in there alone. I won't be long. So I'll see you back in the house? Okay. Nice to see you. May I come in, Tabitha? Oh, why, of course. I'm not sure I, I know what you mean when you say, um, get Ethan. <laughs> Teresa, I think you know exactly what I mean. Dating, a serious relationship, marriage. You think Ethan would marry a, a girl like me? Well, this isn't about what Ethan wants, Teresa. It's about what you want. I mean, come on, I'm sure that you, like every other girl in this town, would sell her soul to marry Ethan Crane. He's the dream catch of a lifetime. And with his looks, his money, his big house on the hill, it would definitely be a change for a local girl to marry Ethan Crane. I mean, although I can see why anyone would fall for him even if he was penniless. I mean, besides everything else, Oh, he has got somebody, and I should know. Ouch. Let's be honest, Teresa. You're after Ethan, and you have been for quite some time now. Ethan is a nice man, a little too nice to realize what some girls are like, but I do know, and I am not going to let him get trapped by some gold digger. Teresa, I'm going to do whatever it takes to protect my investment in Ethan. You wouldn't like it if Ethan knew your secrets, would you, darling? You're bluffing. I don't have any secrets. Oh, no. You wouldn't know if I did. Can you afford to take that chance? I thought not. bluffing, but it's obvious she has a secret. The question is, what is it? Oh, Pilar. Just the person I'd like to talk to. Oh. I haven't spoken to Luis. All I know is that he and your sister went to New Mexico to try and find my husband. Uh, I know. Um, is there something else, Mr. Crane? Well, as a matter of fact, there is. My wife doesn't look at you as a servant. She considers you a very good friend. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. All right, then, so just how far would you go to save Ivy from being hurt? Miguel, did Charity say why she wanted to see Tabitha? Uh, she wanted to see a painting she saw at Tabitha's once. She thinks it might help her remember her past. 
She's starting to remember more about me now. That's wonderful. Yeah, she even remembers when we met at the carnival. And she said she knew that we were going to be good friends. Isn't that terrific? She's starting to remember more and more how close you guys were, Miguel. Yeah. Okay, say something. You're scaring us. What's the use? I know when I'm beaten, I'll never get Miguel now that Charity is getting her memory back. I need to ask you girls a few questions about the fire. I mean, you guys were in a corridor when it happened, right? Yeah, we were taking a break. We smelled the smoke and ran in the auditorium, and we saw Miguel stamping out the flames. Hmm. What about Tabitha? Does anyone remember where she was during the fire? I didn't see her. I wasn't there. She just kind of disappeared, I guess. I'm so happy to see you up and about after your terrible experience. Oh, thank you, Tabitha. Well, at least something good did come out of it. And what was that, dear? I'm getting my memory back. I'm remembering more and more. Well, isn't that marvelous? <laughs> and, uh, what exactly have you remembered? Well, I remembered meeting Miguel and that we were really good friends. Um, but my memory doesn't really stretch back any further than the carnival when I met Miguel. Well, what about the, uh, the fire at your house? Oh, that's still really fuzzy in my mind. <sighs> I don't see the painting. The one of the pilgrim. I was hoping that I might take another look at it. Why? Well, I remembered having this woozy feeling when I saw it. And I thought maybe it was triggering something in my memory. <laughs> How odd. I don't know what sort of memory could have been triggered by that old painting. <laughs> well, I don't know either. But that's why I wanted to see it again. I thought maybe it would help me remember things. Ah. <laughs> the painting of the pilgrim. Oh, yes, yes. It was damaged by sparks from the fireplace, so I had to get rid of it. Oh, it's gone? I'm afraid so. Well, off you go, dear. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I wanted to give you something. Oh, for me? Oh, how sweet. Well, I wanted to thank you for encouraging me to join the pageant. It was really the best thing for me, even with the fire. I mean, now I'm starting to remember things. And I'd really like to get to know you better. How will Mrs. Crane be hurt? Well, I don't know. Uh, you tell me, Pilar. Is there anything in my wife's past that might embarrass her should it come out? I'm only asking so I can be prepared to protect her. Something in her past? Yes. You can trust me, Pilar. I'm just trying to keep her safe from those irresponsible reporters who truly enjoy smearing her good name if something unsavory were to come up. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mr. Crane. I don't have anything to tell you. Well, think carefully. Feel free to tell me anything you might have seen or heard. I've seen and heard quite a great deal while working in this house, but it's always been my policy to keep it to myself. Other people don't need to know what goes on here. Do they, Mr. Crane? Of course not. <laughs> That'll be all. Yes, sir. I know Ivy's hiding something. If I want to protect myself, I have to find out what it is. 
sound. I can tell when your policeman's mind is working overtime. I think you should give up on the idea that Tabitha had anything to do with starting that fire. Look, I wish I could get it out of my mind. It's just not logical. I mean, why would a sweet old woman like Tabitha want to do something terrible? And what could she possibly have against Charity? No, oh, this is so sweet of you, Charity. And I'd like nothing better than to spend a little time with you, but I'm afraid I'll have to take a rain check on it. I've got this raging headache. Oh, I'm so sorry. I don't mean to intrude. It's just that I have this feeling that this house or you might help me remember my past. <laughs> I can't imagine why, but if you feel so strongly about it, then you'll just have to come back another time, won't you? But, however, I, I do think you should take things slowly. Don't, don't rush into anything. Just take one day at a time. Yeah, yeah, that's what my cousin Kay said. Oh, well, you should listen to your cousin. She's a very smart girl. <laughs> well, thank you, dear. Off you go. You're welcome. And, uh, and thank you again for the lovely plant. I'll see you soon. <laughs> Jimmy doesn't like this. Charity snooping around. Jimmy's scared. I don't like it either. She doesn't know who or what I am, but for some reason, she's keeping an eye on me. Maybe that little girl angel told her to. No, no, I don't think the angels talk to Charity, or she'd know she had special powers. You have to stop her from finding out about her powers. Well, I'm doing the best I can, aren't I? Uh, well, we'll put this where it belongs, in the trash bin. Investment in Ethan? That's right. You don't sound like someone in love. You sound like you're talking about a, a, a bank account or a, a stock portfolio. No, Teresa, I'm talking about all of the love that I have invested in Ethan over the years. Do you have any idea what it is like to fantasize about a man so constantly for years, dreaming about having a lifetime together, being together always? Yes, I've had those fantasies about someone. And I'm sure you have, and that's okay. As long as those fantasies are not about Ethan. They're not about Ethan, are they, Teresa? <sighs> I need to make a call. Whitney took the phone into your room. Is it okay if I use the phone? Um, no, actually, you can't go in my room. <laughs> Well, why not? Okay, let's see. How about the sixth at four o'clock? Is that okay? All right, cool. Pilar, has Gwen called? Oh, no, I'm sorry. Damn, I've been trying to reach her for hours. I just went to her office, she wasn't there, and her secretary said she didn't know where she'd gone. Well, I'm sure she'll call you as soon as she gets your messages. I don't know, Pilar. She was hurt very badly when she saw. It's all right, Ethan. Teresa told me what happened at the cabin. It was all very innocent, I assure you. I know. And unfortunately, Gwen refused to believe that there's nothing going on between Teresa and me. And if I could find her, I'll explain everything. There's a phone in the kitchen you can use. Are you sure there's something you're not hiding, Teresa? Hiding? What would I be hiding? Oh, I don't know, but 
Some of the girls at school had these mad crushes on these guys who were rock stars, and they made shrines to them in their rooms. Is that what you don't want me to see? Have you made a shrine to the guy you have a crush on? And if you have, I, I wonder who that guy is. Oh, I can't. I have a tournament that week. <laughs> yeah, but I'd be happy to squeeze you in before that. The 15th, okay? All right, cool. Charity, I was getting worried about you being in top of this house for so long. Oh, I wasn't there that long. Well, what happened? Did you remember anything else when you saw that painting? I didn't see it. Tabitha got rid of it. But I'm gonna make a point to spend more time over there. Why? Well, for some reason, I have this strong feeling that it might help me remember things. Wouldn't it be this easy to get rid of charity? ancient tomes. I've had some of my books for hundreds of years, Timmy, but... but I didn't summon any of them. I didn't know that I could. Maybe it's a... sign you're getting your powers back. <gasps> Wouldn't that be something? It's opening! Yes, yes, I can see. I have to get closer. Okay. Oh, not soon. Your wet clothes are freezing. Sheridan. Sheridan. Can you hear me? It's so cold. I know. Sheridan. She's gonna die of hyperthermia if I don't get these clothes off her. Sheridan. I've got to take your clothes off. You can't wear these clothes, they're wet. Okay? Don't let me drill! Save me! Okay, you're safe with me. Charity, can I ask you something? Sure, Miguel. Would you go out with me one of these days? On a date? Um, I don't know. I've never been on a date before. Oh, well, we kind of went on a date last summer when I showed you around Harmony. My mom and I once had this house on this island off the coast, and I learned to sail. I mean, it was a tiny little boat, but I loved it. I had a feeling you'd love to see. We talked about the sea. I can't believe this, Miguel. Neither can I. You're remembering more and more. It's incredible, Charity. What's happening, guys? Charity just remembered something else. No kidding? Yeah, she, she remembered when I showed her around Harmony. I remember that I loved being with you, Miguel. So, will you go out on a date with me? A real date? Yes, I would love that. Great. <laughs> What's wrong with Kay? Nothing. It's over, Simone. I've lost Miguel forever. I'm sorry, Kay. Oh, I hope you're right, Timmy, and this is a sign that I'm getting my powers back. That's got to be it, Tabitha. If I don't get my powers back before Charity regains her memory. Timmy, no!
I can see that you're desperate to find Gwen. Yes. Desperate, that's exactly how I feel. I'm not sure that she wants you to know where she is. You know where Gwen is, Pilar? Yes. And um, I think it would be best all around if you went and spoke to Gwen. Well, where is she? She's at my house with Teresa. Gwen, this is my house, and I'm telling you, you can't go into my room. Why not? What are you hiding, Teresa? Nothing. I have, I'm, I'm hiding. I'm sure it won't be a problem. Gwen! Just what I expected. my life. 